Hi guys, Brian the Scary Lion back with another video and today I'm doing something that I don't really like doing. I like to try to keep things light hearted on my channel but something that I saw really got to me today and that is the Panorama Special on separation between cultures in the UK and they focused it on Blackburn which is where I'm from. The more I watched it the less it came became about separation between cultures and the more it actually became about just crapping all over Blackburn just trying to make us look bad and the truth is Blackburn is really not as bad as they made out Sure, like, there's there's problems, yeah, maybe, but that's the same in any town you go to. There's there's problems in, there's problems everywhere. And, honestly, they made Blackburn out to be a lot, lot worse than it was. Well, than it is. Let, let, let's just move straight into the way they were talking about everything. They were saying, like, in 10 years, the divide between uh, the Asian culture and the white British culture has got worse. When really all I've seen is things get better between cultures mixing. Like if you walk around town, you, you'll see groups of lads, like Asian and white lads. It don't really matter about the colour of their skin. They're just chilling together. They're having fun, doing what friends do. That's a big improvement. Like 10 years ago, you would... You were la like lucky to see like a uh, one, maybe two groups with something like that, and yeah, it sh it does show that there's been a big improvement there. Like it's less about oh, I don't like you because of the color of your skin uh, or the race or your beliefs. It's more about yeah, I don't like you just because you're you're a dickhead. If you're a dickhead, people will treat you like a dickhead, regardless of race, colour, sexual orientation, anything. If you're a dickhead, you're a dickhead. That's just the main fact of it. All I see is like, people, the people, people are just nice to each other. I'll, I'll walk down the streets and I'll, I'll flash a smile to anyone. No, no, no matter what, I'll just like flash a smile. Just because it is polite, isn't it? To say that you, that there's a separation, like weren't, we're not being nice to each other because of the race. There are, there are people who are like that in Blackburn, in anywhere. It just don't accept anyone who's a different colour, different race, anything like that. They, they're against it or whatever. And it's, it's the case anywhere, not just Blackburn. And it is a problem that needs to be tackled. Like, I'm not taking that away. Like, that is a th that's a thing that they spoke about that is is true um do, like integration does need to be tackled but to say that there's been no improvement and that things have only got worse it's a massive massive step in the wrong direction because personally i've only seen it get better they took shots around blackburn and showed like bad places like places that were shut down places that were ripped apart and that but not showing like improvements that have been made in Blackburn. And a lot of these improvements have helped benefit cultures coming together. There's there's a lot of places that are just open to anyone to like go work out, to go swim, to go on, I don't know, like leisurely activities, just all of these things where people can actually integrate. It is being tackled like... There is so much more to bring us all together now. And people are taking advantage of it, which you see daily. You absolutely do. You see it daily. Um, One of the big things is there's a lot more couples who are mixed race and a lot more mixed race children. Like, you do see a lot of mixed race couples just walking down the street completely in love. Yeah. Good on them. And would that be happening if we were going in the wrong direction? No, it definitely wouldn't. 
you can see that we're not going in the wrong direction. The, the, there is just people who are, for lack of a better word, dickheads, who want to bring this down, who want to annihilate it. The big thing that I saw during this whole panorama thing was the people they were interviewing. They were interviewing a lot of people who were like just against it and a lot of people who've experienced a lot of bad in their life. Like you can't take it away from them. They've experienced uh, like racial hate and things in the past. The, there's, um, I wouldn't say anything bad about you. It would just leave something within you. Uh, but what about interviewing the people that are like me? Some of my best friends are Asian lads. Like it sounds like I'm saying it just so, like, oh yeah, he's, he's not a racist. But I'm saying it to get the point across that it's n like, I, I don't see it as like colour of skin. And I, I know a lot of people who don't. Like I, with my Asian lads, I've spent Christmas with them. I've spent Eid with them. I've spent New Year's with them. And I know a lot of other people that do it who are willing to like try to experience another culture. It's the best way to say it. Uh, to experience, like, everything that another culture has to offer and try to understand another person's religion rather than just go blindly past it. Now, there's nothing wrong with, like, not, not going out and celebrating Eid or not going out and celebrating Christmas or anything like that because if that's not you then there's nothing wrong with that. That does not make you racist. It's just not for you. That's the best way to say it. It's just not for you, which is completely fine, as long as you don't, like, attack someone because, you know, that's what they're expressing. Um, if someone celebrates Christmas and it's not for you, don't don't send hate the way. Just let them go on with it. If someone celebrates Eid and it's not for you, let them go on with it. Don't attack them for it. And, yeah, the, the main thing that I can really say and take away from all of this is the panorama made our town look, it made, it made us look bad, made it look like a racist town. And it is definitely not the case. I think the BBC have just looked at our, looked at our town and went, there's a nice target, we'll go for them. Because they did the same with... Uh, what was it called? I think it was called Trouble on the Estate, where they went after Shadsworth and they made Shadsworth look a lot worse than it was. Um, when the truth is, a lot of things were in place to improve Shadsworth. Community centres were opening. There was a lot more clubs being organised to you know, get kids off the street and uh, out of trouble and things like that. And... Panorama were like, no, no, let's just show the bad side, which they've done again here. They have no problem with tearing anything apart. They just see a a, a town that's had had problems in the past, which a lot of the problems have been tackled. They've just decided to go after us. Nothing on there represented like the person I am. And it didn't represent a lot of the people I know. Um, earlier today, I was actually talking to one of my friends. He's an Asian lad. And he was talking about like how things have improved. How there's less, like, a I'm Asian, I'm white. There's less of that. There's It's more just, let's go out and have fun. I've went out drinking with Asian lads. And I know a lot of other people who have. And to say that there is nothing being done, there's n no improvement going forward, it's small-minded. All you need to do is go out, literally go out around Blackburn, and you will see it. Yes, you will see racism. You will see people who want to stay separate from other cultures. But that's that's the same as anywhere and yes, there are areas that are predominantly Asian. There are areas that are predominantly white. But there are areas that are mixed. 
and the areas that are predominantly Asian and the areas that are predominantly white, I don't see it as like a case of, oh, I don't want to mix, I don't want to be around them. It's more, I've grown up in this area, this is like where I want to stay because this is where I grew up. I want to be in the house that I grew up in or I want to be in the area that I grew up in. It's, I guarantee most of the people will actually be like that. They don't want to move out of the area because that's what they, that's the area they know. <sighs> to say that it, it's all because of some divide and some fear of another culture, again, yeah, it's, it's so small minded. And I know uh, throughout this, I've repeated myself a lot, like a lot. But it's because I'm so passionate about this. Blackburn is my home and to see these people take my home and paint it in this light, it's so demoralising. BBC, here's my words to you. Stop fabricating your lies. Stop, like, slaying your crap all over the place just so that you can make an extra pound. Because the truth is, yeah, they'll, they'll be making loads of money for this, but they would do it for a pound. I know, like, I'm going into pure anger mode here, but that's how much this means to me. This is, this is my home. Do not, do not attack my home. That's all I can really say about it. But yeah, if, if you want to just see the improvements that have been made in Blackburn, think back to 10 years ago. Think back to how things were and how the divide was then. And I, I can't I can't lie, like, there was a big divide, like, 10 years ago. I, I went through it, like, it, it was there. But, yeah, think back to all of that. And now, then think to now. Actually think about how much things have changed in your town. I, I'm not even just focusing on Blackburn now. Let Anywhere. Think back to 10 years ago and the way your town was. And think to how it is now. If it hasn't changed, I apologise and I hope for better in the future. That's if it was bad 10 years ago. If it wasn't, then... It's good that it's continued to stay good for years. But if there was a difference 10 years ago and it was a bad difference and there is, you will see improvement. We've come so far. There's, there's less hate towards someone based on the colour of the skin or based on like sexual orientation or whatever. There are there are many groups out there who still believe in racism and that and I I choose to avoid them choose to ignore them because the more you pay attention to them the more they crave that attention if you get me my main my main point here is just being to get across the fact that Blackburn isn't isn't the place that you saw on that show that isn't us. Blackburn has a lot more to offer than the crap that you saw on there. And do you know what? I know people in Blackburn that would do do anything for a stranger. Like, there are a lot of kind people. And they don't care who you are, where you come from or anything. They will just, they'll be nice to you because you're a nice person. Uh, I've rambled on for long enough. I uh, just hope that I've got my point across here. Um, thanks for watching. Um, if you did like the video, give it a like. Um, comment down below your thoughts or how... Actually, comment down below um, how you see your town being portrayed and how it actually is. Because that that's the main thing that you want people to see. Like, what your town actually is rather than how it's portrayed by others or portrayed on TV or whatever. 
um, yeah, subscribe, uh, hit the notification button so that you always stay up to date with my content and stay positive. That's all I can say. Stay positive, really. I'll see you in the next one.